good morning. It is around eight o'clock in the morning and I'm actually meeting a friend for coffee this morning. So that's fun. So I got up really early this morning. It was before 530 and I put away all my Costco groceries because I did end up going to Costco last night. Uh, you may have seen in yesterday's Vlogmas that there was another woman with us and that was my sister. So my mom and actually my mom and both of my sisters go to a church in Cranberry Township. It's called Victory. I don't know if you guys are anyone from that area, but um, so that that's their church that they go to. And so my middle sister's daughter goes to youth group there and so does my daughter. We've gone to Victory uh, multiple times for like special things and stuff. And um, so that's why my other sister, April, <laughs> showed up in the Costco clip, the one. So we all went to Costco and tried to start with one cart and ended up, my mom had to go get a second cart because we had so much stuff. Now that I make one trip to Costco a month because it's an hour from my house and I just, you know, one, one trip a month is enough for me. Um, but then we got home, it was 10, like almost 10 o'clock. So I just put the refrigerated stuff away and laid everything else in the back, kept them in the bags and put them in the dining area. And I got up early and dealt with that and did all the dishes that didn't get done yesterday. Um, Brad and Ian did some of them, but like the, the stuff that needed hand washed. I did that this morning. And so I feel good that I got all that stuff done before. Now I'm heading in to have coffee with a friend. And then this evening, my other a group of other friends and I are doing our annual Christmas ornament exchange at a local restaurant. So it's, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be another busy day, but um, I think a really fun day and a lot of time spent with friends. So they're decorating the Christmas tree with a star on top for you and me. Can you hear the sleigh bells? It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Way up north, they're making toys for every little girl and boy who mailed in letters because they've been better, so much better than the year before. Santa's crossing off every wish Even moms and dads have made the list Can you hear the sleigh bells? It's Christmas time The sound of sleigh bells on reindeer Only come this time of year We dash up, dance up, prance up and fish in actually going to work on my socks while I chat. Um, I didn't knit at all today. Can you believe that? It's three o'clock in the afternoon and this is the first time I've been knitting. That is highly unusual. I usually knit in the morning after I read my Bible. I knit for a little bit and that's typically when I watch podcasts and stuff, but <clears throat> I just had a, a busy morning. So, and it was a fun morning. I really had a good time having coffee with my friend and uh, that coffee shop we were at, it just went into that location, I think in September. 
maybe it wasn't even that long ago. It hasn't been there very long. It's it's um it's a really cute little cozy spot. So I actually um, wanted to show you a couple of things. So tonight, as I said earlier, I'm going with to an ornament exchange with four other friends, and we've been doing this now for. Four, four or five, is this our fifth year? Gosh, I don't even remember. I should have kept track of that. <laughs> so the whole intention of it is, it's like a no stress, or it's supposed to be, ornament exchange. And it you can buy them if you want, or you can make them by hand. And I have made them by hand every year, except for last year. And I mentioned that in one of my other vlogmases, I ran out of time. So I bought some while we were, while Brad and I were in Lancaster before Christmas last year. Um, so I made, um, I made little clay ornaments for this year. And so this I'm keeping, I have three extras that I made and I'm going to, I hung one on the tree already and then I'm just putting these other two back. I might give them as gifts, like just little tie-ons on gifts or something. But we just made the, so Lily and I last year, actually Brad participated too, I don't know that Ian did. I just bought some oven, oven bake clay and we cut out our shapes. So this one I cut out by hand, but some we cut out with cookie cutters and then we baked the clay and let it cool and then we painted on with acrylic paints. So I made these last year because I thought I don't want to get busy and then not make them. So I actually made these and put them back. Surprisingly, I found them. I, I knew that I had put them in a general area, I, but it wasn't with the Christmas stuff, so I was really hoping that they were they were actually where I remembered putting them, which they were. So this afternoon I wrapped them up, and yeah, this is what I'll be giving my friends tonight. Uh, but anyway, last year I want to show you. It's like this was one of Lily's. And then just a simple tree. This one I made isn't overtly Christmas, but I thought it was cute. Little bunny. And Brad, <laughs> this is Brad's ornament, and I'm pretty sure I showed this in last year's Vlogmas. I love my nitwit. That's what he calls me. That's one of the nicknames he has for me. Nit nitwit. I want to show you guys these really fun pairs of socks that my mom actually bought me yesterday while we were shopping and she surprised me at the end of the day. So we, I went, I was in the shop with her and we, she had to check out, she was getting something for Lily for Christmas. And so Lily and I were just standing there waiting. So she said, why don't you just go into the next store? And unbeknownst to me, Lily and I left and my mom went and grabbed these socks and my mom knows that my favorite Christmas cartoons are How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the cartoon, the original, and then I love Charlie Brown Christmas, which Snoopy is from. So she went and grabbed these, and then at the end of, towards the end of the evening, she pulled them out of the bag and gave them to me. So thank you so much, Mom. I love them, and I love you. And they're just, they're so fun. So yeah, naughty or nice. <laughs> and then Snoopy. And speaking of socks, because I haven't, the last two days, I, I don't, I knitted a little bit yesterday on my, the shawl I'm making, the purse shawl, but I did not knit on my socks. So I, I don't think I have any more progress to show you than what I had last time. So this is all I got. And then the cuff for the second one, which I haven't started adding in the stripes yet. Um, but, Tomorrow, I don't think I have to be anywhere tomorrow, which is nice. So I'm planning on just staying around the house and maybe having a little bit more knitting time so I can work on those. 
Next week is an extremely, extremely busy week with some stuff that's not really necessarily fun. Lily has to go for another ultrasound. Um, just It's kind of like all involved with all the drama that went on with her surgery over the summer. So we have to go back for that for a check. And then um, I have to go get a tooth fixed, <laughs> which I literally have been putting off. I knew I needed it fixed back in the spring. I scheduled an appointment for July and I canceled at the last minute. And um, I don't like Novogaine, Novocaine, it makes my heart race. And so when I was in there getting my teeth cleaned two weeks ago, I was talking to the hygienist and I told her what, what my problem was. And she's like, oh, well, we only put epinephrine in the Novocaine if you know it's a procedure that there's gonna be a lot of bleeding. So we don't need to use the epinephrine with, with this procedure. And I was like, oh, why didn't I just ask in the first place? I just don't like that racing heart feeling. It makes me feel like I'm having a panic attack. And then sometimes I do end up feeling like I'm going to have a panic attack because I'm worried about my heart racing. <laughs> for any of you that don't know, I do struggle. I have struggled for years with like anxiety and um, I've had, have had a number, a good number of panic attacks and stuff like that. So there's certain things that kind of just, I try to avoid. And one of them is anything that makes my heart race <laughs> in a bad way. Um, so I have that next week. And then there, there's something else. Oh, Lily has her allergy appointment Wednesday. And then Brad has his company Christmas party Friday night, which is going to be fun. I don't have, um, I don't really necessarily have a dress, but I've, I've been looking for a dress. So yesterday when we were out, I was looking for a dress and I didn't really, I, I didn't find anything that I really liked and that I wanted to spend the money on. So I have a dress coming that I ordered on the internet that was on sale on Black Friday. I think it was like 50% off, but it hasn't shipped yet. And I'm getting a little nervous and cause I mean, that's been, today's the 8th of December and I ordered it on Black Friday. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe I need to call the company and see if I need to start looking elsewhere for a dress, but it's actually only the second work Christmas party that I've gone to with Brad because um, his first in his first job, he's only ever worked two jobs since we've been married. In his first job, they had one Christmas party the entire 21 years he worked there. And then, so this will be our second and the first with this company. He just started with this company in the spring. So it's kind of exciting to uh, be able to get dressed up and go eat at a fancy restaurant and that'll be fun. So yeah, I just have, oh, and then Monday, we're actually going to a place. It's called, the, the plan is to go to uh, Craniacs, which is actually in, it's all, is it in Ohio or almost to Ohio? Now I'm trying to think where it is. I don't think it's quite into Ohio, but it's almost. Uh, so I'm probably like an hour and a half from the Ohio border. Maybe an hour, 45 minutes. It's it's right along there. I can't remember if we actually crossed into Ohio, Ohio or not, but it is. We took our kids there every year when they were little, and it's basically a really big tree display and they decorate you there's like this walkway thing it's all indoors you walk down this indoor sidewalk basically and on the left side of you are all different trees themed trees decorated in cool stuff and like little moving things and um, it's just really fun so the kids used to love that and we would take the kids every Christmas and then they also have a they're also a big store. So in the summer, I'm pretty sure they're a greenhouse. And then in the winter, they convert to a Christmas store. So they have all kinds of greenery. They have so many ornaments, all kinds of Christmas decor, stuff that you cannot really find in the store. They have a lot of vintagey things that of course aren't vintage, but they're made to look to resemble vintages or vintage items. And then they have a toy section and um, with it, you know, the Lionel trains and all kinds of really cool toys that you don't find in stores anymore. Again, like the old fashioned type of toys. 
So we have not gone there since the kids were much, much younger and we were trying to think of fun things to do on Brad's day off and um, all the kids seemed uh, like that was something that they would be interested in. So we're gonna go do that and that'll take probably all day on Monday and I plan on taking you guys along with that because it's a really fun place and I, I think the best thing about it is that it will just be fun to be back there with our kids now that they're older because that was a tradition of ours when we were little and it's free it's free to go I mean it's not free if you buy stuff while you're there but what we used to do when the kids were little is we would let them pick out one ornament every year so uh, we have a lot of ornaments they're not I don't there's some I've seen some of them on the tree but we have way more ornaments than what are actually on the tree and what I plan on doing is when the kids get married they'll just get their box of ornaments to take with them and so it's it's fun because they usually would pick out something that they were interested in each year so yeah that's uh that's what we're going to be doing next week like I said busy busy week every day oh and then we have my uh we have Christmas with my in-laws next Saturday. She's have my mother-in-law and father-in-law are having their Christmas dinner next Saturday. So it's, this month is flying by. It's crazy. And it's busier this year, I think, than I can ever remember it being. And some of it is because I've made it busy, but then some of it's because I there's just been like appointments and other things going on that I really don't have control over. So I'm just trying to mentally slow down and... Um, and keep myself grounded and that can be hard sometimes but I've learned as I've matured <laughs> as an adult and also like a, a believer you know the two sometimes I just need to take a deep breath and focus on what is really important like like my mug said the other day don't get your tinsel in a tangle <laughs> I think of that often. <laughs> All right, well, I am going to, uh, I got I got less than two hours before I have to leave for dinner with my friends. So I think I am gonna maybe sit here and catch up on a few Vlogmases because I have only watched one in the last two days and I'd like to catch up on some other ones. So I think I'm just going to, I was going to work out, but I thought if I work out at this point, I'm going to get all sweaty and have to shower and have to change. And I just would rather wait. So I'm just not going to get a workout in today and it's okay. I have tomorrow and Saturday. All right, friends, I'm going to do some knitting. Mm -hmm.